What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, testing negative for the viruses, and having a great day so far. It is time now for the Friday edition of the Virus Update for Friday, September 19th, 2025. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make you sick. There's a lot of viruses out there, and COVID is still out there. If you're watching this video thinking, oh, well, the news doesn't talk about it. The news told me COVID's over with. No, it's not over with. Are you on Facebook? Are you on social media? Do you happen to see a lot of parents say, why is my child sick right now? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, illness going around with back to school. And there's a lot of uh, COVID still going around. We're still in the summer surge. It's peaked. It's starting to drop. But there's many places that are still far too high. Want to stay informed with all these viruses? subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell share this video with anyone you know and leave your comments down below already not a lot to talk about today we do have one piece of update one piece of the update from the cdc the rest has not come in yet i'm hoping it comes in later on we are recording a little bit early i think this is only going to be about a 15 to 16 minute video today all right starting off with this from dennis the COVID info guy COVID-19 outbreaks in Australian residential aged care facilities. This is their update through uh, September 18th, 2025. Active cases, 404, or down by 26.5%. Active outbreaks, 89. Hey, that's down as well by 8.2%. Resident cases, 288, down by 29.9%. Staff cases, 116, or down by 16.5%. Reported deaths, unfortunately, there were more of them. In 2025, 385, that is up by 6. 7,589 care, aged care, COVID deaths since the beginning of the pandemic there. And aged care basically is like a long-term care facility, or as we would say here in the United States, nursing home. So generally, uh, same thing. Also, staying with Australia, Western Australia, from Dennis the COVID Info Guy, the COVID positivity rate is 2.1%. That's up by 0.3% this week. Uh, the PCR cases, 174, down by 23.6%. That does not include those at-home tests. Hospitalizations decreased to an average of 50 per day, down by 1.9%. ICU, seven-day average, remained at uh, two, which is stable at this time moving on now to this in georgia georgia's reporting uh, tb case numbers are going upward in fact they report that they are soaring there is an uptake in tuberculosis cases in georgia more than 172 so far according to the centers for disease control and prevention and looks like the atlanta area is doing the majority of these or doing the most uh, cases out of all the regions in Georgia. Last year, they had 254 cases reported of this, so 172 already, and they may get right up there to uh, last year's numbers. Yikes, that is not good. All right, moving on now. No, not this. There we go. Uh, Cody Johnson postpones um, his Columbus stop of the leather tour. Why? Well, because he is dealing with an illness. Yet again, another musician dealing with an illness. I'll make sure this gets over to my website, to the tracking thread for list of performers sick. I don't know, did I post it there already? I don't recall if I posted it when I saw it. I don't think I did. Uh, Louisiana, we got a problem for you. Whooping cough cases rapidly rise in Louisiana, leading to, yeah, sadly, two people have died. Uh, state leaders say it's the worst whooping cough outbreak in the past 30 years. Yeah, not good. Uh, there are two infant deaths linked to whooping cough in Louisiana. The fatalities of two babies are why parents say it's now more important than ever to use caution. And I believe these two deaths happened earlier in the year. They're just talking about how cases are going up. And get this. And I love how they put, how they worded this. I'm genuinely shocked. I didn't know that was happening or going on. And then someone says, parents are stunned to learn of more than 360 confirmed cases of the infection. You know what? It's not just whooping cough. It's not just measles. It's not just COVID and soon-to-be flu RSV, which is going to be making its round within the next few months here in the United States. Um, people are generally stunned and surprised to know, 
I didn't know there were so many viruses going around. I didn't know things were oh so bad. Yeah, because when you don't report on things, when you try and hide the data, when you kind of try and keep everything hush-hush, how's the general public to know what's going on? If it wasn't for something like what I do right here each and every day on a virus update, I doubt anyone would know what's going on. And let's be honest here. I'll be very honest with you. We have very few people watch that watch these videos every day. Please, just share these videos with anyone you know. We need to get more people informed. We shouldn't be seeing statements where someone says, I'm generally shocked, I didn't know that was happening. We shouldn't have people stunned to know what these viruses are out there and doing or how prevalent these viruses are. People should be made aware of what's going on. You know, there's a lot of events going on lately. You know, it's fall. It's the fall event season. I think there should be education booths at these events. And yes, I get it. They get a lot of people. But there should be education booths. You know, someone putting up a sign, someone putting up pamphlets saying, did you know there were this many cases of such and such virus? Did you know COVID causes long COVID? Because it is just totally ridiculous that people have to find out the hard way. Oh, I didn't know that was going around. Oh, I wish I would have knew this beforehand. I would have taken precautions. Yeah, there's a lot of that out there. And it really is a problem. All right, let's go to a little bit of good news. Yet again, we need to refresh this. What's going on? D.C. Council passes emergency law to protect COVID-19 vaccine access. The FDA only approved the shots for those over 65 with a prescription, preventing local pharmacies from providing them generally. However, in D.C., they're going to make it easier for everyone to get that uh, vaccine if you should choose to get one of the vaccines. All right, I'm not all bad news. I can be good news as well. North Alabama child who contracted measles has recovered. This is some good news. A North Alabama child who contracted measles is on demand, and state officials said there was no transmission of the virus. That is some good news. Uh, taking a look at measles, since we're on that topic for a moment, there have been this year, it should be right here, there it is, there have been... Uh, 1,491 confirmed cases of measles so far this year in the United States. And let's stick with that for a second. Uh, Canada, on the most recent update, this is a little behind. It says September 6th, but Canada has had, I believe, 4,902 cases of measles this year. Yikes. And their population is less than the United States. I really still believe we've missed cases in the United States. Maybe not to be enough to be more than Canada, but uh, yeah, that's pretty bad what's going on up in Canada when it comes to measles. Hopefully, it has slowed down. Uh, wastewater viral activity level for COVID in Canada is moderate. Flu A is low, flu B is low, and RSV is listed low at this time. If you did not see yesterday's video, a lot of people didn't. It was less viewed, but whatever. Uh, here's the update in the UK. The UK is definitely in a covid wave right now. Uh, cases went up 1,664. That's up by 117. Weekly deaths, 79. That's up by 36.2 percent. Hey, healthcare usage, 1,162. Again, I don't know if that number's up to date. This number up top often does not update, but the one down below will update. So we'll go with, uh, they had 157 increase to the total count of hospitalizations, or up by 15 0.6%, and the positivity rate, we got to come down here for that. Yeah, it's now 10.1%, or so it says, let's see, we, yeah, it's still saying 10.1%, so that did go upward. All right, let's take a look at birds in migration. As we know, uh, we've been talking about more bird flu cases lately, yes, in animals, poultry, and that's because of the migration south. Look at this, over 500 million birds migrated to the south yesterday. In fact, did that almost reach 600 million? Yes, it did. So the migration south for winter is well underway with the bird population. That's something that we are going to go and continue to watch because I'm concerned we may see another human case at some point. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with air qualities in the United States. While we're waiting for that to load, let's pause and take a hydration break, shall we? Water is a drink of choice today, and... There's a lot of places dealing with poor air qualities. Also, you're seeing the maroons and purples are starting to worsen once again in the Pacific Northwest. That's not good. And you also do see the yellow and oranges in the Southeast. Something else that is not good. All right, moving on. Taking a look at Florida. We do see sick person calls popping up several times. Though COVID has peaked there, we do know long COVID is a thing. And 
you know, COVID weakens the immune system, so colds and other viruses do go around, and if you have had COVID many times, well, a regular cold could be much more serious for you. Look at this. There's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight sick person colds. Uh, that's a lot. That's actually concerning. We'll have to investigate that area on wastewater when we do wastewater Sunday over the weekend. Philadelphia had 881 EMS incidents yesterday. Yeah, that's a number that's a little far too high as well. Uh, taking a look at what's going on right now in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, we do see Hatfield Township is dealing with a stroke per patient right now and some other general calls going on at the moment. Taking a look at what's going on in Chester County, we do see respiratory difficulty a couple times and sick person is also showing up. Hospital situation. Hey, this is the best we've seen for Pennsylvania throughout the week. We see just two hospitals dealing with an issue in South Central Pennsylvania. One of them may not have updated what's going on out there in Fulton County Medical Center. Uh, trauma diversion cat machine down. So they're having a problem there. And let's take a look at New Jersey, which is not doing too bad today. I believe, yeah, Inspira Medical Center Mannington, specialty issue. That happens a lot. It's they too many surgeries, I guess. Surgical divert. Uh, taking a look at the New Jersey Weekly Respiratory Report, and pretty much everything was status quo. There continues to be increases in emergency department visits for COVID, though they remain low. And there's also hospital admissions are seeing a slight increase still. The majority of hospitalizations have been 65 years or older. Test positivity is elevated for COVID. There have been increases in levels of COVID-19 wastewater in recent weeks. And they're not saying that's low. They're saying there's been increases. Levels of influenza type A, type B, RSV in wastewater are low. The predominant COVID-19 variant in circulation is XFG. Respiratory outbreaks have been reported in long-term care facilities are primarily due to COVID-19. We're not seeing it say school outbreaks yet. That is some good news. But then again, are they actually tested? Who knows? Let's see if we have the New York State update yet. No, we do not have New York State yet. But we do have that one piece of CDC data. And that is... Um, the epidemic status and we can see new york state has now switched to growing it's yeah it's it's going upward in new york state still uh, they're going off and doing their own thing their wave got started late uh, delaware is still growing michigan is growing wisconsin and minnesota is growing likely growing this week is north dakota south dakota new jersey and vermont not changing would be pennsylvania portions of new england portions of uh the Pacific Northwest, although Idaho is likely declining, Florida is likely declining, Tennessee is likely declining, Arkansas is likely declining, Nebraska likely declining, hey, Hawaii is declining, and guess what? California is declining now as well as is Texas and many other states at this point. Let's see, did we get the CDC wastewater update? Uh, maybe that came in while we were doing this video. Let's see what the dates are. No, it still says 9-11. So anything else from the CDC that I find or that we normally would look at, uh, I will update that tomorrow, or when it comes in, I'll update you on that. Let's take a look at four wastewater sites, one in each region of the United States on wastewater scan. Uh, let's start off with Harrisburg, Pennsylvania first, shall we? Take a look at this. The overall trend this summer and, well, Monday's going to start fall, I believe, right? Uh, take a look at this. The overall trend for COVID, yeah, it's high. It's rising. Uh, Pennsylvania statewide actually dropped a little this week but overall we're i think we're still going to go up a little bit higher just simply because a lot of fall events going on that are big crowds uh it's super spreaders for covid let's go down to florida shall we let's uh, take a look at the pinellas county florida area i don't know we'll go to northwest st petersburg i mean we saw all those sick person called look at this haha uh -huh. so we're seeing one of st petersburg northwest st petersburg covid in wastewater is starting to go back up once again. And you know what? Let's just complete this. Let's just go to all St. Petersburg. Okay, here's the other one. Still high here as well. Um, it's dropped some, but last update, up a little bit. Wonky movement. But again, it's still remaining at high levels. And I wonder, is Southwest St. Petersburg going up? Uh, that dropped. That drop slowed. Most recent update, up a little bit. We haven't seen significant drops in all three wastewater sites. So some of those sick personal call. So definitely could still be COVID. Remember, the backside of a wave 
uh, still a lot of people will still test positive. So, huh, that's uh, concerning and interesting to see. Let's go up to the north, shall we? Let's take a look at Jackson, Michigan, shall we, and see what's going on there. Jackson, Michigan is high and mm, still rising. That rise has slowed off a little bit, but it's not dropping yet and still listed high. Any of the other viruses causing us problems? Not really at this time. Let's go out to the west coast, shall we? How about we take a look at what is going on in San Diego, California? That's another place. We'll see if that dashboard updates later in the day. Los Angeles has not updated yet. Chicago has not updated yet. Those dashboards, we'll have to take a look at them over the weekend. They should update at some point today. Take a look at this, San Diego, California. Still medium for COVID, not really rising, but also not really dropping at this time. And 2.2 uh, million populations served at this wastewater site for COVID. We do see a lot of detections of hepatitis A. It is listed at medium at this time. Alrighty, folks, that's all I have for today. That does it for the Friday edition of the Virus Update. We'll have another update again tomorrow and one on Sunday as well. Of course, Wastewater Sunday. And if CJS's numbers come in, we'll have that this weekend. Any other CDC data? Who knows? CDC could be delayed until Monday. Just have to wait and see what happens. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know because you know what? We really need to educate more people about what's going on with these viruses. I'm so sick and tired of seeing people say or hearing people say, oh, I didn't know that there were so many cases of such and such virus going around. It's ridiculous. People should be informed and educated of what's going on with these viruses. Send them my way. I would love for them to watch some of my videos. And then they would go, wow, I didn't know that. I'll be a little more careful now. I'll take note of that. Yeah. Uh, subscribe. Leave your comments down below, and of course, uh, ways to support the channel are listed down below. I will see everyone again next time, which is tomorrow. Until I see you again tomorrow, stay safe, have a fantastic Friday afternoon. Thanks for watching.